Hey, so today I'll be talking to you about Call of Duty Elite and uh, Battle Lock. So Call of Duty Elite is from starting in Modern Warfare 3 and Battle Lock is Battlefield 3. So this year's title, um, Battlefield 3 is actually the underdog and Modern Warfare 3 is the favorite. So we're just going to look at how the uh, multiplayer gaming is on for both of the games. So basically, the first thing we have to note is Battlefield 3 has Battle Lock which is custom made for battle lock and actually battlefield 3 was made for the pc so origin origin sorry origin has to be activated and be used when using battle lock whereas in the console you don't need origin and now that uh we see that battlefield 3's campaign is a flop considered a flop uh then battle lock has to be relied on to help it get a good rating on reviews so battle lock helps you keep track uh, keep stats and you can use it on any mobile device on your console and on the internet so basically it's across all your platforms and they want you to constantly use it to connect with your friends to keep with your stats to keep improving and to continue playing Battlefield 3 so this is actually quite the same because Modern Warfare 3 Call of Duty Elite also has uh, use across all three platforms which uh, in practically integrates this to uh, everyone's life. So Battlefield 3 in it you can check your stats, you can chat with friends, you can automatically connect with your friends through battle lock and whatsoever. So basically it's to connect everything you have to battle lock and such that all your rankings and all the things you can see are in your profile. So basically it's just a Facebook for Battlefield 3 just that it's part of Origin and you can do it right straight from the game so that it would be much more convenient. Um, you also can connect your Facebook friends and you can join clans which you also can will see in Elite. So in Battlefield 3 you can join clans actually so that uh, you can play with your friends and achievements can be unlocked such that if you uh, you unlock most achievements for one gun basically if you are good at M16 and then you get the most kills you actually don't have to be good at the game but still unlock achievements so Battlefield 3 is actually um, uh, sorry attracting the non gamers and the gamers together to play uh, this game so this uh, connects easily on the PC is much better because Battlefield 3 is actually designed for the PC and it's a console port so with Battlefield 3 on the PC is much easier with the 64 player maps and also you can connect and type in like Facebook and you can just invite your friends to join in so it's much easier on the PC and for the console it's it's harder so you can't really say it's not good on the console but it's not as uh, intense and it's not as fully featured on the console so Battlefield 3 is out in stores now you can go check it out Battle Lock is definitely something worth seeing and it's free so EA and DICE are really pushing hard to promote the, their blockbuster of the season and let's uh, we're gonna take a look at uh, Call of Duty Elite now so we're just gonna switch trailers now so now we're gonna talk about Call of Duty Elite Call of Duty Elite was announced at Call of Duty XP the conference by Activision uh, so it's they're gonna be charging for uh, forty nine ninety nine US for one year if you want to be a premium member. But if you're free, if it's uh, your free membership, then it's free. Though uh, premium membership, there will be some added benefits. So uh, the uh, Call of Duty Elite Beta was actually on Black Ops, but then they uh, put down the server quite uh, a few days ago, I believe, very recent, uh, just because Modern Warfare Three was coming out already and they were, they were going to prepare for the elite servers. So, there are actually four pillars, but then three pillars of Call of Duty Elite are um, dedicated to multiplayer. So first of all, there's career, it's single player. You get to see your stats, your earnings, your how much XP you got, your KD ratio, uh, how, many, how much XP you need to go to the next level. You also can see how much kills you get from the guns you use. You can see your previous matches, the stats on your previous matches, and custom classes loadouts. Okay, uh, and second, uh, here we see a, co a connect option. Connect uh, In connect, you can join clans, you can see your friends, you can post gameplays, and ba uh, basically it's Facebook for Call of Duty Elite, just that it's uh, all integrated into the game. 
uh, you have groups, you can socialize, and you can keep up with friends uh, in Connect. So here we have the next of all is the Compete trailer. Compete trailer, you can interact, and it's a multiplayer experience with competitions. You also get bragging rights as you, um, most of the competitions and tournaments are skill-based challenge challenges which you can challenge your teams and challenge other people and your friends you usually can win real prizes you usually can win virtual and real prizes such as jeeps and xp and etc while if you win your tournaments and you win your challenges so basically you can play with your team and you can win together such that your clan will grow stronger and uh, you have a better online and bigger online presence so Compete is actually a very clan based thing, a very social thing such that it provides a platform for people and players, uh, non-gamers and gamers alike um, to compete and just to connect and basically play better together. We'll, that's basically the motto of Call of Duty Elite. So you can interact in multiplayer and so basically you can win prizes and this is actually dedicated uh, Activision wants to dedicate this feature to the pro players to give it back to their players for supporting them for so long because this is really actually a new type or form of social gaming. Okay, moving on to the improved trailer. Improved is actually really very helpful because uh, you can see uh, the map, uh, all the map layouts in the game. You can study the maps, you can see the different game modes, and in the maps, as you study it, you can see where the spawn points, where the bomb points, so that uh, when you play, it'll be much better. You also can see the different types of guns you use and the custom loadouts, and thus you can improve on that and see what others are also uh, using, such that, you, such that you can use their loadout and see how well they play and see why they play so well. So, in improve, you also can study your perks, you can study your equipment you have, you can study the maps, such that uh, you improve your gameplay and you are getting much better at Call of Duty. So basically this is just to help people who want to improve the game, getting a better kill death ratio etc. And so uh, next, you also uh, improve will also give you recommended loadout menus such that um, they will give you suggestions of loadout menus which you may want to use such that you can improve your game. You also can learn tactics from other players and tactics which uh, improve uh, gifts such that you can improve the game and you also can learn all the features of the game such that you know all the guns, you study all the equipment, you study all the basically everything of the game and uh, also pro players and other players you may share knowledge within uh, this part improve of the game such that many other players may learn too. So this is basically uh, Call of Duty Elite versus Battle Lock, and I believe Call of, Duty, uh, Call of Duty Elite is the better and the winner, the be the better version and the better option. So thanks for watching. Uh, this is my opinion. So if you if you have your own, your own opinion, don't uh, it's your opinion. So this is my opinion, and thanks for watching.